So if if you're if you're a sculptor mm -hmm. or a craft work, mm -hmm. you're making a product. Mm -hmm. My product is twofold: a uh, digital publisher okay. and, and writing my own memoir. But I'm also starting a second book, which I'm going to be like. Uh, coordinating uh, uh, acquisitions editor, other people are contributing to an anthology that I'm going to be producing. So where does that fall into? Does that, is that all copyright? Is that trademarked? The trade, well, okay, the way it works is that the trademark identifies the source of goods and services. So that would be my company. Right, your company would be sending out the digital, um, the digital books from mm -hmm. different authors presumably from different authors, then each of those individual books has a copyright on it. So copyright gives you the right to reproduce, copy, distribute, sell um, your original work of authorship. So typically a painting, a sculpture, um, sound recording, um, an NFL football performance, um, movies, did I say poems? So copyright attaches to that. One thing I didn't mention was any type of crocheted work because that's actually considered useful. So it does not have copyright protection. What's interesting is that in the United States, clothing and clothing design does not have copyright protection. But in Europe, it does. So the idea in the United States is clothing is functional, it serves a purpose, and so there's no copyright. So similarly, recipes, Knitting um, patterns, sewing patterns, those are all not eligible for copyright. So that's what the copyright does. The trademark identifies the source of goods and services. So you think of 20th Century Fox, that's a trademark, and then the movie is Star Wars, that's the copyright. Mm 